Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this horrible gameplay into smooth gameplay in Alan Wake 2. Using Lossless Scaling 3.0 Frame Generation Mod. So, let's jump right in. Alright, as you guys already know, Alan Wake 2 is one of the most demanding games out there. Even high-end PCs struggle to run it properly. So, I started messing around, looking for a real fix. And guess what? I found that Lossless Scaling 3.0 actually does a way better job at improving performance. That's why I decided to make this tutorial, to show you how to fix those annoying low FPS issues in Alan Wake 2. Hopefully, this helps you out. Alright, first things first. You're gonna need two tools for this. 1. Lossless Scaling 3.0, this tool boosts FPS, but you have to buy it on Steam. 2. MSI Afterburner, this one is free. Just download it from MSI's official website. I'll drop both links in the description so you can grab them easily. Once you've got everything installed, open up Lossless Scaling 3.0 and change these settings. Frame Generation Settings Set Frame Generation Type to Lossless LSFG 3.0 Set Mode to X2 No need to touch Resolution Scaling Scaling Settings Choose LS1 or FSR for the scaling type. I'm going with LS1 and setting sharpness to 1. Make sure to turn on performance mode. Rendering settings. Set sync mode to off, allow tearing. Set latency to 1. If you're on AMD, set it to 2 or 3. Check the shortcut keys for activating LSFG mode. You can customize them, but I'm just sticking with the default keys. And make sure. Run as administrator. Is on. If you've installed MSI Afterburner, do this next. Go to your Windows taskbar, click the hidden icons, and open RTSS, RevaTuner Statistics Server. Set FPS limit to 20. Since I'm on a GTX 1080, Alan Way 2 runs around 18 to 20 FPS, so setting it to 20 FPS helps stabilize frame time. If you have a better GPU and get 40 to 50 FPS, set your FPS limit to 45 or 50. Now, let's tweak your GPU settings for even better performance. For NVIDIA users, open NVIDIA Control Panel. Set Low Latency Mode to On. Change VSync to Fast Sync. Apply the settings and close NVIDIA control panel. For AMD users, open AMD software, Adrenaline Edition. Go to the Gaming tab and enable Radeon Anti-Lag. Set Sync Mode to FreeSync. Apply the settings and close AMD software. Alright, now let's see how well this works in-game. Open Alan Wake 2 and set the display mode to Borderless Window or Windowed Mode. Once you're in-game, press your shortcut keys to activate LSFG mode. I'm pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus S to turn it on. Before, I was getting 18 FPS. But after enabling LSFG X2 mode, my FPS jumped to double the performance. And the best part? Smooth gameplay. Now, if you're still not happy with the FPS boost, go back to Lossless Scaling 3.0 and switch Frame Generation mode to X3. But, I gotta warn you, when I tried X3 mode, I ran into ghosting and screen flickering issues. So, for me, X2 mode is the best option. So yeah, try this out and see how much FPS you can squeeze out of your setup. If this video helped you, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.